గత ఇరవై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలుగా ఇంటర్ ఎంసెట్ ఐఐటి మరియు ఏఐ ట్రిపుల్ ఈలో అనుభవం గల ప్రొఫెసర్ టిఎస్ రవి వివరిస్తారు ఈ ఎపిసోడ్ లో కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీలోని సర్కిల్ టాపిక్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం అసలు సర్కిల్ థియరీ అంటే ఏమిటి మరియు దానికి సంబంధించిన ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ గురించి ప్రొఫెసర్ టిఎస్ రవి గారు వివరిస్తారు డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడే వీ స్టార్ట్ కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ ఇన్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ బిగిన్స్ విత్ సర్కిల్స్ బట్ యాజ్ ఎ హోల్ కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ గాట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఇన్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ యువర్ రెగ్యులర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ అండ్ నౌ టు బిగిన్ విత్ లెట్ మీ ఫస్ట్ నోట్ డౌన్ ఆర్ రైట్ డౌన్ ద సిలబస్ దట్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లెర్న్ ఇన్ యువర్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ క్లాసెస్ in second year you have circles ellipses parabola and hyperbola that is i just write down them you please see the syllabus is 1 circles 2 parabola and 3 ellipses 4 hyperbola in any examination coordinate geometry occupies almost 30% of marks if you appear for iit 30% of weightage is for coordinate geometry after calculus this is the most important topic and in regular stream you know already second year paper out of your 75 marks 35 marks goes for coordinate geometry only so let us give concentration let us give much importance to this and learn and we teach you from the basics to the exam level be happy let us start now with our first lesson that is circles circle carries 16 marks weightage in the examination so let me explain you the basic concepts of circles today now taking circles lesson first of all let me tell you why coordinate geometry coordinate geometry is treatment of algebra and geometry mix of algebra and geometry if you take up algebra lessons it's it's a easy tool because the plane geometry is very difficult and if you mix algebra with coordinate geometry you will have a lot of easiness as you see circle if you wish to study in plane geometry classes it is an extremely difficult task whereas it is very easy here let me show you step by step circle lesson is the first lesson you can now follow me and wherever i'll explain this is an interactive session and let me explain you the first lesson circles let us take the first lesson circles we'll start with the definition of circle what do you mean by a circle let me first explain you that what is a circle definition we'll take what is a circle in lower classes we define circle as locus of points locus of points moving at a fixed distance from a fixed point i just read the definition once again please locus of points moving at a fixed distance from a fixed point look at these two words carefully fixed distance from a fixed point this is a fixed point and a fixed distance fixed distance is called radius of the circle and fixed point is called center of the circle this is the basic definition let us see the fixed point is called fixed point is called radius of the circle and the fixed distance is fixed distance is sorry fixed point is called center and fixed distance is radius i just write here see radius is the fixed distance 
this is a fixed thing and center is a fixed thing how many points will be there there will be so many infinite points their path is only called a circle if you take a fixed distance and look at all the points this you get a circle this is center of the circle this is radius let us read the definition once again locus of points moving at a fixed distance from a fixed point now our aim is to study circle with using algebra that is what coordinate geometry is let me let me take up one by one this is the definition of circle i have defined now the most important point for you is the very important point second point equation of circle equation of circle with center ab and radius r let us see how to find this equation of circle with center ab and radius r this is the most basic and important thing with this you can learn whole of circles in a easy way this is the first point we are going to derive the equation of circle with center ab and radius r i just note down them in the figure this is my figure center is given as ab and radius is r just look at this center is ab and radius is r the equation of this circle in this case is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square i have not given you any proof just i wrote the equation now i am going to derive how you got this how you came to get this result let me see once again your center is ab radius is r and in that case the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square as i told you we are coming from the grassroot level this is the most basic thing for your circles lesson you can do many things in this so let me repeat again equation of circle with center ab and radius r is this whenever you know the center and whenever you know the radius you can write the equation of the circle let me show you how we got this then we'll go ahead with the rest of the lesson now please this is the circle i want this is the center c i call it as c this is radius i take a point p on the circle where can i take p anywhere i don't have any restriction i can take anywhere p is x y but wherever i take p p p p c p is always r c p is always r wherever i take p c p means the distance between c and p well by distance formula this is under root x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square this is r now squaring on both sides x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square this is what the equation of the circle most fundamental and most important and your syllabus begins here only equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square once you have a circle in this form ab is its center ab is the center and r is radius i'll show you one example let me take one example you will understand uh, now let us recall once again the equation of the circle whose center is ab and radius r is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square did you understand and now let me take several examples on only the single concept let me write the concept once again x minus a whole square minus plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square this is equation of the circle with center ab and radius r the important thing is if my center is 0 0 that is if ab is 0 0 the above equation becomes x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is r square that is x square plus y square is equal to r square this is the equation of the circle whose center is 0 0 whose center is 0 0 please this is called standard form of a circle just look at this once again this is the circle equation with center ab and radius r and once the center became 0 0 in place of a i have taken 0 in place of b i have taken 
and that is reduced to x square plus y square is equal to r square. We have two results in front of us. Just look at them. Two results. Two results in front of them. Now, let me show you several examples on this. First example. Example is if center is